Hey guys, it's Christian Luderman here and I just want to show you how I solved the problem with accessing router params in a nested router hierarchy. So it's a common problem in Angular apps that you have some kind of nested router hierarchy like this. So, uh, you know, this is hooked up to the app routing and it's on a, it's from a course portal. So we have the path course and then we have some course uh, section for my course. It's the different weeks in my Angular course. And then we have some children routes where I have action items, I have questions and I have the lessons. And I want to be able to access, for example, here, I want to access this lesson ID router param and I want to access this. But the problem is, as default in Angular, if you are inside of this component here and you try to access this param here, you will not get any, any param on this level here. You can do something like dot parent and then you can access it, but otherwise you will not be able to access it. So what I did to solve it, and by the way, I can also demonstrate it here. So you can see the router hierarchy here. So for each level in the router hierarchy, each has its own params object. So you, for that, if it's set up like this, it's kind of hard to just, if you just want to get params and you don't care if it comes from the parent or not. And then you need to maybe traverse it by yourself and, and find it. So what I did since I'm, I'm using NGX here in this app and I'm using the NGX router plugin, I think it's called NGX router store. It's called. So what I did was I created my own selector where I'm getting the router state from here. I'm just escaping early if there's no state. Otherwise I'm doing a recursive um, accumulation of the router params. So I'm going, I'm going through here. I'm checking if there's no more children, otherwise I'll just escape and return the params of the route. And if there are children, I want to combine all these child params plus the routes, the root routes params and just combine this one. And then I can just access it like that and set up like this. It doesn't matter if I want to access, if I'm right here and I want to access my parent route up here, it will still work because it, this has combined the router params on all the different routing levels into one object, all flattened out. So yeah, this is how, how we do it. This is how you can not get frustrated with uh, accessing router params anymore in your Angular apps.